Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Why do senators serve six-year terms? During the Constitutional Convention of 1787, the framers of the United States Constitution engaged in extensive discussions about the appropriate terms for senators and representatives. The length of Senate terms was a crucial topic, with proposals ranging from life terms subject to good behavior to limited terms of three to nine years. One of the initial proposals presented by Edmund Randolph and James Madison suggested seven-year Senate terms. They argued that long terms would create stability in the Senate and provide an effective check on the more democratic House of Representatives. George Redd of Delaware even proposed a nine-year term, while Alexander Hamilton suggested life tenure, similar to England's House of Lords, to protect senators from public opinion. However, not all delegates agreed on long terms. Charles Coatsworth Pinckney of South Carolina feared that longer terms could lead senators to lose sight of their state's interests, while Roger Sherman of Connecticut preferred four-year terms to preserve the good behavior of rulers. After considerable debate, the delegates compromised on six-year terms for the Senate. This decision was made on June 26, 1787, with a vote of seven to four. James Madison defended this choice in Federalist No. 62, arguing that six-year terms would reduce turnover in the legislature, allow senators to take responsibility for measures over time, and make them largely independent of public opinion. The six-year term was also seen as a way to balance institutional stability with legislative responsiveness. It allowed for staggered elections where only one-third of the Senate seats are filled with each general election, providing Congress with stability and continuity. This system lessens the immediate pressure of public opinion on members of the Senate. In addition, the framers recognized that the length of Senate terms was related to the respective roles of the two houses of Congress. The six-year Senate term was consistent with state Senate terms and helped to moderate the more volatile short-term interests of the House of Representatives. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.